Hey what's up guys welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video this is John from Programming Knowledge and this is part 6 of our video tutorial series on how to create an e-commerce website using ReactJS and this is what we have so far in our um, e-commerce website we have the header we have the banner image and we already have the products displayed right here where um, we can also add more products to this like more rows where we can find more products so in order for us to do that let's just add um, like inside our home.js we have here the home row element that we have added from the previous tutorial by the way if you have uh, missed that then you can go ahead and watch that video first before proceeding to this video tutorial now what we can do here is try to add more products what we can do is just copy and paste this right here and um, instead of having three products we could add more like uh, four so save this and it should update our website where we can see more products and this is the second row of products that we can see inside our um, website or app now as I've said from the previous tutorial the product component is totally customizable which means that you can change the title the product price um, the review stars or how many or like how many reviews or I mean the um, what they call this calculated rating of a particular product so for example 3 we have 5 or 5 or 4 it depends on uh, what you want to add here and of course if you uh, if you have if you want to also add another row or another um, row of products maybe a row with two side-by-side -side product you can always do that by just using our um, home row um, element and we can just copy two products right here paste that and it should reflect here in our app just like that and of course in this video we're going to like add a functionality to our um, Amazon app where if we click on this at the basket um, it should update the number of you know number here which signifies the number of products inside our basket or cart right so what we can do is um, maybe add a what they call this checkout page we can add a checkout page uh, page also and um, yeah that's what we're uh, we will try to do here inside our um, application so for now let's go to our source and let's add a checkout page so every time we go here check out uh, we should have um, the items added to our card or number of you know the products we can view the products added to the card so what we can do is try to create the checkout component so in our SRC for folder click on this to create a new file so this will be checkout.js and we should be uh, adding also the checkout.css so that we could add the styling so function and then check out open and close curly braces and also we're going to import the react from react okay and um, here we'll just try to return first an h1 and let's say check out okay save and we need to import 
the checkout CSS. So that will be checkout.css and in our home.js or app.js instead of having only the header we will be adding the checkout um, component and of course we need we need to add that here checkout okay check out and also here for importing the checkout component so attempted import that's because we need to export the default of our component so export default and then check out component okay save and we should be getting this output now inside here in our checkout page um, we need to add a div with the class name checkout and what we can do is try to divide this page uh, left and right so there will be elements placed on the left side and also on the right side of our of the page so what we can do is add another element right here and this should be check out left so all the elements of the left uh, left side of the screen should be uh, inside here and of course we can do the same for the right side by by adding another element class name um, check out right okay so obviously all the elements that we want to display on the right side of the screen will be inside this particular element okay now um, what we can do here for now uh, let's just add a dummy text so h2 and then it should have a class name of check out title okay there you go and you can say here your shopping basket is empty okay and then um, paragraph you have just uh, this is um, we want to display this if we don't have an element or we don't have products added to the cart so you have no items in your basket by one okay so for the right section of our page we will display the subtotal so that will be subtotal so this will be another component and we need to create this because we don't have the subtotal component right here okay so that will be subtotal.js and of course we need to add a functional component right here function subtotal open and close curly braces where we will be adding the value of um, all the products that we have added to the card so for now let's just add a simple display this will be class name and then subtotal and um, of course we need to import react from react there you go and then also we need to import the currency formatter so import currency format we're going to be using this to format our price 
from React currency format. There you go. And remember, we install this during the setup of our product, or I mean app. Okay. So subtotal, and then we can say here. Um, we can add a button right here first. So proceed to check out. Okay. And um, right here, we can add the currency format. But we'll just leave it for now. And we need to export this. Export default sub total. Okay, save. And you need to import that from here. So import subtotal Okay, save. Subtotal is not defined. Let's just refresh our page. Nothing was returned from render. Subtotal. Okay. So, subtotal. This should have the return statement. Open and close. Parentheses. And then save. There you go. We now have this particular um, display, but we need to add the CSS file for our checkout. The CSS. I mean, uh, we will be adding the CSS styling for our checkout page. So checkout, and then display flex, and then the padding is 20 pixels. And then background color will be white. And then height is max content. And then um, check out underscore underscore title. This will be margin right um, 10 pixels. We also have padding 10 pixels border bottom will be one pixels solid and then light gray and of course we will add this particular element check out add so this is responsible for displaying the sample ad that we will be adding to our website so margin bottom will be 10 pixels so save this and we should have this particular output right here for our checkout page. Okay, so what else? Um, we have the login, right? We have the home right here. And we also have the checkout where we will be uh, seeing all the products that has been added to the basket or the cart okay so I think what we can do now is set up the firebase so for example here log in in order for us to have a working sign in and sign up um, form we need to set up the firebase so what we can do is go to firebase for example okay so for example we here we are at um, console.firebase.com or google.com and then you can see uh, overview of your projects right here so what we can 
do is click on this add project and then we will be adding say for example Amazon clone um, as the project name and click on continue and um, we could disable this in enable Google Analytics for this project we're gonna we're not gonna use analytics for our project and then click on this create project and you just have to wait for a few seconds to allow the Firebase to set up our project and of course we will download a file right here uh, from here and then uh, we'll be using that inside our Amazon clone application so your new project is ready and then click on continue okay so we have here different um, features available for us in Firebase what we could do is click on this um, icon for uh, adding an app as a web so we could name our app as Amazon clone but you can use any name that you want um, if you want to set up Firebase hosting you can do that but for now let's just uh, uncheck that and then register app okay so we'll just wait for a few seconds okay and then take note of this particular um, values right here we could copy and paste this okay maybe we could save this later on uh, we could open up this um, notepad and then save our um, configuration or config file okay so click on continue to console okay and then here in our authentication just click on this authentication and then set, uh, set up sign in method so what we'll be using is email and password so enable and then click on save um, I think um, if you want to set up also for example the phone uh, signing in by using phone signing in by your Google account Facebook account github account you can do that but for now email and password will will be enough for our project okay so um, right now what we can do is try to set up our project in order to communicate with this particular Firebase um, project that we have here so let's go back to our code editor and what we can do here is add a new file so this will be firebase.js there you go and of course we need to import firebase from firebase and we install this firebase um, during the setup of our project so cons and then uh, firebase app equals firebase and then initialize app open parenthesis and then open close curly braces and inside here what we could do is copy and paste this the API key, domain, database URL, project ID, storage bucket, and uh, sender ID and app ID. So we could just copy and paste this. Okay, there you go. And in here, we can try to define a constant variable, which is for our DB. So Firebase app, and then Fire uh, Firestore open and close um, parentheses and then of course for our authentication we're going to be using this constant uh, firebase 
and then oh there you go pretty close and then we need to export this export open and close um, curly braces db and then of course the oath variable okay so save this and inside our app.js We're going to set up our user authentication and of course um, maybe the access to our Firebase database okay so we're going to do that in the next video and um, in this video we have created our Firebase database app right here and then uh, for example right here uh, project settings and then we all we added the web app which is the Amazon clone app and then we have this config right here we have we have um, copied and paste that inside our firebase.js file and as I've said in the next video we're going to continue working with this particular file and um, let our um, Amazon clone app created in the Visual Studio Code communicate with the um, project created here in, our, in the Firebase database. So thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video.